Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to use the Blueprint interface in Unreal Engine 5. It might be a little bit confusing to get your mind around. It's completely understandable if it seems confusing and frustrating. I understand why people don't use it because it is a little bit of a mind bender. Like anything in Unreal, once you figure it out, it's kind of like, well, I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't get that going. So this is what we're doing and I'll try to explain this as clearly as I can. We basically have two blueprints in this scene right now. One is the level blueprint and one is this other one called the test test BP or blueprint. And all I'm doing is I'm pressing the keyboard one in the level blueprint to send a message through the interface to print a string that's coming out of here, out of this out of this test beat. So this is what this looks like. If I hit play, click in, and I go one. So that's two blueprints communicating with each other via the blueprint interface. So it would seem like it would be pretty simple to do, but it's there's some little gotchas along the way that make it fairly frustrating. I'm gonna go ahead and just start this from scratch to show you how it can be done. And then hopefully you'll be able to start implementing the interfaces in your own work as well. So I'm just gonna go to File, New Project, Blank. And this is a blank project. There's no third or first person in here at all. So I'm just gonna call this BI Test. And we'll create it and it just takes a second to load up. I did have to go through the documentation several times and I couldn't really find a tutorial. It's fairly fragmented. It didn't really walk you through all the way. So here we are. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our blueprint interface, which is the, it's the communication between the two blueprints. So we're gonna go here. I'm just gonna leave it at the default name. This is kind of almost a joke, but you just have to double click on this and compile it. And I can call this, this function in here, I can call this my function just so I know it kind of stands out from the crowd. But that's all we do is compile and save it. There's some inputs and outputs down here, but those are only needed if you're gonna be overriding this function right here. So we're done with our interface, believe it or not. That's it, and there it sits. And we can go ahead and hit Control, Shift S and save everything. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a blueprint class. Let's just call it, to, for clarity, let's call it the receiver because it's gonna be on the receiving end of all of this. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to blueprint class, I'm gonna go to actor, and I'm just gonna call this receiver. Receiving blueprint, just to make it clear what it is. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click into it, and now we have to hook it up to the interface. It's not hooked up, so we just go to the class settings, and I'm gonna come here to add, and then I'm just gonna go to new interface. It's right there. And as soon as that's done, I can go ahead and compile and save it. And then all this is gonna do is get a message from the interface saying, hey, I got a message, here it is, do this. So that's actually comes in as what's known as an event. So if you'll look down here, let me just go ahead and dock this up here. You'll see down here, this is the my function that we named in the interface. If I right click it and I go to implement event, that's a funny way of saying, just get ready to receive the message, get ready to receive my message. So then if I click on implement my event, it pops me into the event graph. And you can see this here showing there is an interface involved with this, right? Which coming in, going out, right? And the function is that like the gear, it's doing nothing really. It's just a gear, I don't know even know what it, what it's doing exactly. <laughs> and so what we can do from here, all we're gonna do is here is print a string. So we're just gonna go print string. And I'm just gonna call this, I can't believe this took so long to figure out. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and compile and save it. And believe it or not, we're done with this. There's only one thing we have to do because this is a class, a blueprint class, we have to create an instance of it. And we create an instance by dragging it onto the scene. So once I do that, you'll notice it's now, it's up here and now we can reference it. So, and that's exactly one of the, the keys to this whole thing. So I can hit Control Shift S and save everything. And now hopefully we're on the final stretch of this. So we're gonna go up here and now we're gonna go into the level blueprint. And it's just untitled right now. So I can hit save. And just for clarity, let's just call it ascending, I'm sorry, sending blueprint, just for clarity. And I hit save. 
Oh, it's saving. It always takes a minute to save that. So you can see we've got our sending blueprint, we've got our receiving blueprint, and then we've got our interface between the two. So on this, we have to do the same thing we did on the receiving one. We have to hook it up to the interface. It's simple enough to do. You just come over here and you go new interface and it's right there and you compile and save it. So now what we're going to do to trigger all this is we're on the event graph. We're going to right click and we're just going to do a keyboard event and the keyboard event is just going to be pressing the letter, the number one. Okay. Now this is where I started getting really confused with all this, but there are two requirements to be able for this to work. And the first one is done, and that's that both blueprints are connected to, to the interface. So that's all hooked up now. This is the second one, and this is the one that I believe trips everybody up, and it was tripping the hell out of me, <laughs> is that the calling print, th this blueprint we're on right now, needs to know the name of the in-game instance of the other blueprint. So it needs uh, to be hooked up and we're going to do that by creating a variable to set. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to go to, we're going to call this test BP variable and it's going to be set as an actor. So we go actor and it's a reference and it's public. So that's there. And then what we're gonna do is we don't need any of this. So if I come over here, well, how, how do I wanna do this? I think I can drag this variable straight on here. Let me not do that yet. So let me first do this. Let me right click. Let's go back into the sending blueprint and make sure we're on the receiving blueprint. I got tripped up on this before. And let's go ahead and right click. And you'll notice, you see where it says create reference to receiving blueprint? That's what we want there, right? So I'm gonna just drag that off to the side. And then I'm gonna drag this on here. And I'm gonna go set. And I hopefully, when I did this before, it wouldn't accept the input, but let's go ahead and compile and save everything. And let's hope that I can just plug this straight in here. Yes, okay, fantastic. So basically we're doing all this to be able to tell the sending blueprint the name of the receiving blueprint. That's the shenanigans that we have to go through. I tried to set it over here and it wouldn't, it wouldn't hook up, but it hooked up this way. So anyway, now we have a triggerable event. I can just plug this in here. And now that this is the home stretch of the last thing we have to do is if I drag off of here, I can look for my interface. And this is interesting. This is interesting to me. This one that says message, this is the one that we want. So we click that and we just took up this. If I compile and save, everything's done. It should all work. So it's just some little tricky steps along the way, but I think once you get this figured out, you'll look back and think, why was this so, why was I suffering through this? <laughs> so anyway, here we go. So let's go into our sending and we'll go play. And I'll go around and I'll hit one and there it is. You can see it's printing the string. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I hope I didn't mean to make it too long winded, but I found this fairly confusing. <laughs> Take care and have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.